really handy site called californiacolleges.edu. I know I've had you sign up for another site before, but this is really nice in terms of being able to plan and have a portfolio for college. Um, this one will keep track of colleges that you look at and colleges that you like, and then be able to save it for you so as you can kind of plan and track how you are doing. And when it comes time for your senior year, it'll keep track of the colleges that you've looked at, as well as make admissions very easy for you. First thing we're going to want to do is create an account. This one's not quite as intense. Your simple date of birth for me, 06, 09, and I'll lie and say I was born in 1992. Current grade level, I will say I'm in 10th grade. So that means I will be graduating high school in the ripe old class of 2015. Create a username and password. And then a password hint. So for example here, what is my favorite book? The Hobbit. And then an email address for it. And you can just say it was from other. Create. Ta-da! Once you've done that, today what I would like you to do is to kind of poke into the career area. And what we're going to want to do is get into the career student matching assistant or the career self-assessment. Both of these are really handy as well as general career information. If you click on the general career information, you can start looking into choosing school, choosing majors, et cetera, et cetera, job shadowing and things like that. You can also take self-assessment surveys, and this is what I would like you to do today. So, first step in career planning, take the self-assessment survey. When looking through these surveys, you're being able to kind of figure out your personalities and things like that. So let's first take interest with the Holland type of assessment. This talks about the types of uh, spectrums that you'd be into. So, for example, are you a realistic person, an investigative person, artistic, social, enterprising or conventional. What I want you to do tonight is to take these two tests and that will come to me tomorrow with them. Um, you'll be receiving credit for this. The first is the learning styles assessment. Remember I said that everybody learns differently. Taking this learning styles assessment you'll be able to kind of figure out what best way it is that you can learn and it's a simple qu quick question with it. So for example, I understand something better after I try it out. In considered innovative means you're coming up with things. Realistic means you'd like to think of practical things, like day-to-day -day type stuff. Um, when I think about what I did yesterday, I'm most likely to get pictures. A few moments later. So I've finished doing my questionnaire, and now I'm going to submit my results. For me, the differences have been between these is uh, it kind of puts into visual, verbal, sequential, global, sense and intuitive, and then uh, referring in action. Um, as we can see here, I fall pretty close to the action scale, pretty close to the intuitive scale, very big on the visual scale, and pretty close to the on high on the global scale. Um, so from doing that, now I can kind of begin to look into my learning style description for it and see what would best fit for me. So be sure to do that tonight and kind of plug into it. So for example, for me, I would be considered an active, intuitive, visual, global person. So I'm going to click here. So in turn, intuitive, and kind of play along with them. Be sure to check on those things because I'm going to ask you what they were tomorrow. Then what you're going to want to do is take the My Interest Finder. This will take you a little while to go through it, but it'll be able to tell you your interests and activities and what jobs that you could be able to do with it using this like, dislike, or no preference. So for example, build kitchen cabinets. No. Guard money in an armored car. No. Study space travel. Yes. And so on and so forth. It'll take you a little while to be able to do it, but from there you'll get an accurate description of some of the jobs that it's suggested. I look forward to seeing what your jobs come up with. Talk to you later. Bye.